This is just a very quick video showing how to use some of the new projects that we've got in Scan and Cut Canvas with the Scan and Cut machine. So I've already logged in and I'm on the Canvas project page and these are all the new projects that um, Brother have given us. There are two ways to view these thumbnails. I have them on large but you can click on this icon here and it will show more on your page just smaller thumbnails. I just prefer to look at them bigger. I've not looked at them all I must admit. I've only had time, I've been, been busy and I've only had time to look at a, a few of them but they all appear to be FCM cutting files already so there's no need to have to convert or do anything with them. So if we just choose I'll just choose one for now. So say we want to, this is for Mac by the way, um, I, don't, I don't use Windows. We do have an old Windows laptop somewhere in the house and I don't like using it, but this is for Mac users. Um, I assume it will be something similar for Windows. So if we say we wanted to choose the Tumblr, you select the Tumblr icon and straight away you're given two options. The first option is what they're calling Get Recipe and that's a PDF and that's basically just how to put it together from what I can see. And down here are the um, bits that you would download to cut and it shows you how many sections relate to this design. So if you want to look at the PDF, you click on the PDF and it will automatically drop into your Downloads folder which is here. Now in your dock here, you'll have, you might not have the same icons as me. From here, from Finder, through to this spacebar here, are the applications that normally come, I'll just close that for a minute, normally come preloaded with your Mac or they're applications that you've dragged in there as shortcuts, that you know things that you use the most. And then after this spacebar here, you normally have two folders. You have a documents folder and a downloads folder and then there's the trash can at the end which you can't see at the moment. So the minute I touch this PDF it instantly jumps into my downloads folder. So if I click on that downloads folder now it's there and then if I click it will open it and it tells me here it's two pages and shows you what to do and there's the second page showing you how to put it together. When you're actually ready to download the elements that you're going to cut, again, you click on the big blue icon. And again, on a Mac, it will just drop into your downloads folder. So if I select it, it's here, this blue folder. And then if I double click it, these are all the sections that make up this file. What you need to do now is put these onto a USB stick. Now you can put them all on as loose files like this or you can drag the whole folder. So you may want to rename it. So if you left click and hold on the folder it turns pale blue and you can rename this now. So you might want to call it Tumblr. So it's easy to identify. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a USB stick into the back of my Mac and then just show you how easy it is to get it from the desktop onto your USB stick. Okay, so I've plugged the USB stick into the machine and it's shown up here. And I, mine's called Scan and Cut 2. So literally double click on that. That will open up all your folders that you've created yourself on your USB stick if you've created folders and then you can either drag the file in or if it's going to fit within another folder drag it into a folder so I would probably put this in home decor so I can either left click and just drop it into home decor or I can double click to open home decor and drag it in and it's there and then what you need to do is you need to eject the USB stick from your machine. Don't just unplug it, it can corrupt the files. So again, on a Mac, you go to the USB icon, you right click and you choose eject, whatever the name of yours is. Mine's eject, scan and cut. 
and that's now gone from the screen which means I'm safe to unplug it. All as I would need to do now is take the USB stick to my scan and cut, plug it in, go to saved data, find that home decor file and then I would find the file called Tumblr and I could select the pieces and cut them. So I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.